everybody, I'm Derek Tabers. This is Farm Mechanic Simulator 2015. We are 60% done with our career. Let's jump in and see what's next. All right, Kurt Ruckert brought in his grain harvester thingamajiggy. Repair the grain shaker system. All right, cool. Uh, if you want to know how in the world, Dare, are you going through all 30-something thousand subscribers to get subscriber names, well, YouTube has a really cool thing called the Fan Engagement Window, and it shows me a, a list of the people that have are the most engaged with the channel. And looking for a grain shaker, by the way. Aha! Uh, it shows me the people that are most engaged with the channel, and so I'm literally going down that list now. <laughs> uh, last time I was going by uh, people I remembered. <laughs> this time I'm going by other things. This is a bison, I just noticed. A bison. It's a bison. I've eaten bison. Bison is good. So Kurt Russer, Ruckert, sorry. Kurt Russert. <laughs> Kurt Russell, no. Kurt Ruckert was, is the top engaged fan currently. As of the recording of this video, it changes on a pretty much a daily basis, but not by very much. So there you go. Things you learn because I ran out of names in my brain. I could have got a baby name book, but I didn't want to go get one because I was like, really? What's the point of that? <laughs> All right. Okay, how much is this? 350. So it's got to be something like this big transmission wheel. No. Is it something that goes up here? Like, what? Because that's that grain shaker stuff over there, right? Okay, that's all. Nope, it's not. It's you, isn't it? Yep. All right, so how do I get you out of there? Take you off to get you off to get that off. All right. That. That. Now I get that off. And then I can pull you out. Woo! Alright, where where I'm on the wrong side of the harvester. Alright, let's see if we can get Kurt's grain shaker back. Yes. And I'm not taking it by people who are like engaged in farm sim or anything, it's just literally the list. The list! Alright, let's build this back up. There. Put that in. Yep, there we go. And... Boom, I think that's it. Slam that tailgate down. Yeah! Alright, Kurt, there's your harvester. Gatekeeper brought in his 4255 MFWD. Uh, problem with starting the engine after a cold night. Find out the cause of the problem. Okay. Uh, gatekeeper, gatekeeper, gatekeeper. If you put your tractor in a shed, probably would help. I'm just saying. Just saying. Alternator. Huh, I actually was expecting the alternator to be bad. Uh, where's those starter cables? Is the starter cable is bad? No. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Now it's getting suspicious. Hmm. No. Air filter pipe. This thingy. Uh, is it the injection lines? No. Ah. Okay. Huh. There's not a lot of things left on the list here, so that's actually good. 
pretty much turning his whole engine green right now. Okay. Which kind of matches his tractor, I guess. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, so let's pull this off. Pull these. Is it the glow plugs? Is it the glow plugs? Ah, we got a bad plug. We got one bad, one bad plug. <laughs> Always the last place you look. Mainly because once you look there, you stop looking. So, there's that. Is it literally, it is literally one bad plug. There you go. There you go. All right, one glow plug engine. One $30 glow plug. Oh my goodness. Yay us! <laughs> Alright, let's drop that in there. I want you to drop it in there. Nope, that. That locked down. Drop that. Get that locked down. There we go. Ignition cable's on. All right. There you go, gatekeeper. Out you go. Whoa, junkyard. Junkyard wanderer brought in a junky junkyard. Perform a test drive on the test track. Replace damaged elements. <sighs> I hate this test drive crap. Let's do the test drive. <laughs> Look at that pole. Oh my goodness, junkyard. Because you get a junkier harvester. Oh my goodness. This shouldn't take too long before it fails. Look at that. I'm going straight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you get this out of a junkyard? Yeah, the steering system doesn't work properly. All right, so we did that part. The part I love is you do that test and it's like, it doesn't work properly. Well, could you tell me maybe, oh, good grief. What doesn't work properly instead of just it doesn't work? All right, well, <laughs> it all doesn't work. Good. Let's get this off. Let's get Junkyard a new rear axle. All right, can I... Okay, I gotta pull the hub off. Oh, I can't pull the hub off until I pull that off. I can't pull that off until I pull this off. Okay, I need to pull this off. Pull, oh, pull that. Pull that. Okay, let's go get the other side. This is where you need like a, a mate to handle the other side of the the machine. Or maybe people that, you know, bring you their machines and say to help you work on them. That would be a good thing. Wow. That was a long bolt there. I would expect that. But, you know, so. All right. Can we repair? Can we repair the rear axle? Let us find out. Ah, oh, we can for 2,677 bucks. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. I tell you what. Junkyard, maybe you should have considered not going to the junkyard to get you a harvester. There we go. Put that on. Put that on. The wheels back on this bad puppy. I just realized something, by the way. There's literally nothing holding this harvester up right now. Whoa, that right linker is shot. All right. Got to get a new right linker on there. Right linker. I couldn't repair it, apparently. I, or I'm blind. Could be blind. 
Alright, left linker is good. Alright, let's check. Was I blind? Yeah, I was blind. Alright, let's put that linker on there. Right linker. Put this thingy on. It's one trailing arm. And one rear actuator. Cool. I think we got uh Yeah, you're done, junkyard. Where do I advice, junkyard? Stop getting your harvesters from the junkyard. PFTW1995 brought in his Z5211. Uh, primary and thorough cleaning filters need to be replaced. All right, cool. That should be a nice, quick little job right there. Pull off that. That's the primary. That's the thorough. Cool. Can I uh, repair those filters? Nope. All right, primary and thorough cleaning filter. Do, do, do. Thorough cleaning filter. Primary cleaning filter. Cool. Gee, after Junkyard's disaster, this wasn't a bad job. Alright. There. No. Game. Thank you. Cool. PFTW 1995, Yolt Tractor is done. Roth TR brought us a Vladek T25. Complain about imprecise operation of the steering transmission. Find out the problem. Perform any required repairs. All right. Well, <clears throat> steering transmission. That's always a weird thing to say. The, re the steering transmission. There's really no such thing as a steering transmission. I'm sort of going to kind of guess they mean the steering system. But let's see. What? Uh, oh, wait. Is that actually called the steering transmission? Oh, look, it is. <laughs> Not only has a real thing. I'm sorry. I don't think it is. Ah, steering transmission arm is bad. Okay, and let's check this. Trailing arm. Alright. Let's get rid of the trailing arm then. Go. I just don't like steering transmission. That doesn't seem like a real thing. Like power steering pump, that's a real thing, but steering transmission? Alright, 120 bucks. See if that's all we needed to do. Let's put your steering transmission back together. Put your trailing arm on. Boop. And boop. Alright. Yeah, we're done with Rohith TRs. Vladak T25. Peace out. Whoa, we got a new building. Uh, first, let's. Uh, this is uh, Robert Plog's Z058. Uh, check the elements of the threshing. Make it. Oh, God. Wow. This place is looking better and better. This place is actually pretty nice. Very nice. Oh, look at this big old engine here. Look at this mess we left out. Ew. Wow. Yeah. All right. Threshing. Is this the threshing stuff? Oh, God, it is, isn't it? Wait a minute. Elevator body. Ventil. No. No. What the? Where is the threshing? The threshing happens. In the back? Let's see, engine. Thresher. Okay, that's that's what we need. Okay. What are we looking at? Uh, 520 of damage to here. Alright. That's, that's shot. That's good. That's good. 
Well, I mean, we, we started out with a bang getting the first thing right. All right. So we'll just keep looking here because I don't trust that we're not going to find more. And, and you might as well look, right? Right. Don't hurt nothing to look and check. Don't hurt a thing. I bet you that or that or some other random part that's really hard to dig out is going to be bad. At this point, I'm going to kind of aim for the big stuff. Ah, found one. Okay. All right, let's get all these belts. Because might as well check those as well. Okay, that's a bad belt. All right, I think we're good to get to work here. Look at that. Okay, pull you out. <clears throat> and then pull this guy out of here. Cool. Now let's repair this. All right. Tensioner. That. Oh, well, I can repair the belt. Sweet. Cheap, easy money. All right. Let's put this back. Got off lucky, Robert Plog. You got off real lucky. You're able to do a lot of repairs here. Press your drum belt on. And that belt on. Yeah, you're good to go. Take care. All right. We have Train Man Jay's Harvester, and he's messed up. The front hubs. Don't butt on me. All right, we're going to pop this off. Get these front hubs flipped. Well, not flipped, because that would be weird. We're going to replace the front hubs. That's a front wheel. Uh, oh, that's the... Okay, yeah. Pull that. Wow. Wow. So you damaged both the front hubs. What in the world did you do? Jeez. I don't even understand. I don't, I don't even know if I want to know. How did you damage your... Ugh, people. Man, train man done messed up his harvester. Junkyard pulled his out of a junkyard. I mean, so far, Robert Plogg is the only one who's not, you know, totally destroyed his harvester. I would, I would attribute his normal wear and tear. All right, pull this out. And then we will see if we can repair these. And bish bash bosh. Cool. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. I didn't even have to go that deep. Sweet. I always like that. Ah, all right, fine. So you just destroyed the hubs, not the actual axles. Well, that's probably for the best, but still, how did you destroy the hubs? Like, I can see one hub if you, like, you know, ran into a pothole or something, but both? How? Jeez. People. You need to learn how to drive their harvesters or something. That's what I'm going with. There, there. Boom, that's side done. Around here, go around this side. Round the outside, round the outside. Okay. Then we'll, uh, we'll end this episode here with Train Man Jay's harvester that we have repaired. Next time we will press on and see what more trouble more of my fans can get into with their equipment. Because this is Farm Mechanic Simulator 2015 and I am Dare Tebbers and I am the Master Farm Mechanic 
I am the master of undisaster. Fine, your disasters. That's what I'm going to go with. Did that count? That counted. Cool. Until next time, everybody. Game on and be awesome. <laughs>